guys. So I figured I would do like a vlog style today of a little house update because we actually just went and looked at one. Um, but I wanted to give an update on the house that we put an offer in on. Um, so the offer was actually like declined, not even countered. So we came up on our offer and that one was also declined. Apparently they had like an offer in the past um, that fell through that was closer to their ask price. Our offer was still very reasonable so I think that they should have countered it but they didn't. Um, so yeah we are gonna wait a few days on that house and like see what happens and still look at some houses in the meantime. So we just went and looked at a house that was on the higher end of our budget. Still needs some work like it has a lot of dated oak in it like the kitchen or the oak cabinets and the trim is all oak and everything but really really well maintained so we think with like some paint it would look nice um and a kitchen reno you think like if the kitchen is still really really nice but i think we think it would still need a kitchen reno so i will put in that footage i woke up in the middle of the night And I wondered how you always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me Ooh, na -na -na. But you showed me how to believe Still gets me It is hard to share my thoughts. We are home now and both boys are down for a nap. Ashton's naps are really short, so I don't have much like time before he'll be up again. But we fed Hayden lunch and like Nick and I had lunch. We did smoothies and a ham and cheese sandwich with veggies. Um, and yeah, so they're down for a nap now. And on the way home and just like talking it over, we have decided to put in an offer on that house because, well, you guys saw it. Like it's dated, but it has almost everything on our wish list except for like a bonus room but we think we're just gonna have to like go away with that from our wish list because we've decided that an older home is probably more what we're looking for just because it just has a bigger layout and a lot of times the square footage in those newer homes is that bonus room and the main floor and basement are so small so with this one like the main floor was quite big the basement was quite big and then it had like the three bedrooms upstairs which i didn't actually end up showing but they were just like pretty basic also didn't get a clip of the yard but the yard was amazing and it doesn't back on to other homes it backs onto like an open green space and walking path so that's like another like amazing find so that house we feel like it's a gem in like a an amazing neighborhood so we've decided to put in an offer but our realtors have told us that there are like six offers going in today so we don't have really high hopes that we'll get it but we'll see we are putting in our offer above list price to show that we are serious um so yeah i will keep you guys updated on that so it is like an hour and a half later after our offer was put through and we just heard that it wasn't accepted. They got like six or seven other offers and they accepted 
a higher one with no conditions. So that's kind of disappointing. But like I said, I wasn't super hopeful. It's making me a little bit worried about like finding a house, but it's also making me very eager to see what will happen when our house goes on the market. So we've been working really hard for the past few weeks, two weeks, to get our house ready to go on the market. And it is going live on Monday. Today is Saturday. So I'm super excited to see like how many showings we'll get. And hopefully ours goes for a really, really good price. And that can like open up our searches for what we're searching for in a house. But yeah, so Tonight I plan on making a bunch of like make ahead meals and snacks because I assume that Hayden and I will be out of the house next week because of showings going on for our house. crazy how much snow there is coming down outside now it is april 10th by the way but that's just how it goes it'll probably melt in the next day or so i just wanted to show what i made for dinner i made ikea meatballs which we always buy they're like our favorite frozen meatballs and a really easy dinner so these are the chicken ikea meatballs and these are the veggie balls this is what they look like on the inside they have like peas and peppers and corn. And then I made garlic, parmesan, green beans, potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. And this is Hayden's food plated. Um, so he does like these green beans, so he'll eat those. I gave him a Brussels sprout. He'll likely make us take this off his plate, but I like to still serve it to him. Um, and then potatoes. He likes the veggie meatballs. If he wants more, he can have more. And then these are the chicken meatballs. He won't really eat chicken breast anymore, but he will eat like chicken meatballs and stuff. So I'm just making a few things to be able to take over to my mom's house that we'll be just hanging out at during the day while we have showings. So I'm just hard boiling some eggs and then I'm making some broccoli cheddar bites. And I'm just cutting up the broccoli. It's like steamed for about five minutes. Then mixing in some spices, breadcrumbs, egg, and cheese, and mixing that all up. These turned out so good. They were so yummy. If you guys want to try it, I will definitely link the recipe in the description box below. And totally let me know if you try it. Tag me on Instagram or send me a message. Okay, so I put mine into a muffin pan so I could really like squish them in. Um, I used like half of the recipe and probably too much broccoli, so we'll see how mu how these turn out. Um, and then I just plan on putting some Parmesan cheese like right on top. Just because, like I said, I think these have too much broccoli in them. So just trying to like balance that out a bit. But I'll put the recipe that I somewhat followed down below. I tend to like change res recipes as I'm using them. And yeah, I only, and I only did half. So like it would make more if I did the full recipe. And this is what they look like after. I think the Parmesan made them look so good and crispy and cheesy. So yeah, like I said, I'll have the recipe down below, but I didn't follow it exactly. I like cut it in half and put too much broccoli. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the next day, Sunday. Um, kind of forgot I was vlogging last night, but still the weekend. We're not going to go look at any more houses today. Kind of just wait to see what happens with our house. Cause like I said, it's going on the market. I'll share a little bit of our house later because we're cleaning during nap time and then I'll just share like a few clips after of our home that's going on the market that it's sad but we just want to be like closer to our jobs um so yeah with the snow last night Nick and Hayden are playing outside 
and our one dog is out there with them and the other one is over here just being all cozy on the couch um he got a haircut recently and he like froze out there and ashton and i just did his three month photos he's three months like two days ago hi Yeah, nice. Rick, you're blocking the snowman. So I've got a little bit of time right now to show you guys our house. We are going on the market like tomorrow. Um, there's still a little bit to declutter, but I will get to it. This is our front entryway. So there's two doors. One on the right is to come to the house. The one on the left goes into the garage. And then we have a closet. I would really like to have a mudroom in our new house. And then there's just like a console table and a little mirror that we have there. So yeah, that's like the front of the house. And then when you turn around, you enter like the whole house. It's very open concept. Over to the left is like the main living room. It's very long. And then if you go like straight, you can see a second living room, a kitchen, you can see a dining table. And then that's the stairs to downstairs. It's a bungalow, so everything's on the same level. The bedrooms are down that hallway. And then there's this mirror here, um, just really opens the room. You can look at yourself before you leave the house and everything. So this is the main living room. Uh, I have a couple of walls painted black. I think it really like goes well in the house. We painted the brick fireplace white. And then we also put like a safety thing over top of the fireplace hearth. We have a big sectional in the living room. And then there's like big windows in the living room. And instead of having a side table, we have like a little table set up for Hayden to eat at sometimes. And then our little media unit. And then right to the right of that is the like formal dining room. The people that owned the house before us took down a bunch of walls. Um, so. It's really open concept now, but there's like two separate eating areas. So that's like almost a more formal dining room or dining area. And then we have like a breakfast nook. But this is the kitchen. I don't like the really high countertop on the island. Um, and I don't love the gray cabinets, but we didn't choose them. They were put in, they were already here when we moved in. And they're, and they're new. They were like brand new. It's Ikea cabinets. Um, yeah, just like a really basic kitchen. And yeah, like I said, I need to like still clear out a bunch of stuff. Like I'm going to move Hayden's, um, I'm going to move Hayden's booster seat. But yeah, this is like the breakfast nook area. And then we put in that pantry just behind there. It used to be like a door, a back door to the backyard. But it wasn't necessary because there's the sliding doors here. So we closed that off and built this pantry. And then there's another living space right here. Uh, we just have a small couch, two chairs, and TV mounted up on the wall with a little, with a little buffet below it. This area doesn't get that much use. There's a skylight there, which is a nice little feature of the house. Um, and then, yeah, these stairs just go downstairs. The staircase is right in the middle of the house. And then down the hall is just three bedrooms and one and a half baths. So there's a full bath and then a half bath off of the primary bedroom. And then I'll take you guys downstairs, show you what's down here. It's only partly finished down here. There's a lot of open space because we do have a bungalow. We basically have like as much space 
upstairs as we do downstairs, and it's a 1600 square foot house. Those are just some boxes that we need to move to my mom's house, and we just replaced that light recently. And when you come downstairs and you turn to the right, this is the unfinished space, so it's our laundry room and storage room. We used to have this desk upstairs in one of the spare bedrooms, but now with the two boys, there's no spare bedroom upstairs. And we used to have it set up as a guest bedroom, so that's why there's like a bed down here and everything against the wall. But yeah, just a whole bunch of storage space. Definitely room for like more bedrooms down here and a bathroom. But we just use it for storage. Costs a lot to develop a basement and it's not something that we've fully put all of that money, all, we haven't fully put the money into it. But we've developed this side and it is a playroom. So all of the boys' toys are down here and there is a couch down here as well. We moved Hayden's play kitchen downstairs to show the house. We moved a lot of the toys downstairs. But I tend to like rotate toys from down here and move them upstairs. And then also we just come down here and play sometimes. So yeah, there is like a couch down here as well. It's kind of a sectional. It's an Ikea couch with like a really big chaise. And then we have a TV set up. And then there's also a fireplace down here. So it's like the same spot in the house that the fireplace is upstairs. And it's pretty cold down here, um, so we always kind of wanted to put in a gas fireplace, but we never got around to it. And then we have a home gym back here behind this like safety fence that my husband built. We have a treadmill and a bike. My husband is like really big into working out and I am also into fitness, you know, when I'm not having babies, but um, we have this cable system gym uh, it does a lot it has like a bench in it that comes down and yeah it can do like lat pull downs there's a bunch of different cables on it you can do leg exercises with it and then we also have a squat rack so a full power rack with lots of weight plates it's a pretty elaborate gym setup Nick is into competitive powerlifting these are select tech dumbbells that go up to 90 pounds and then we have this rack of dumbbells as well and then these are Hayden's toy dumbbells he calls them strongs and then down this like narrow part because the house like is like a full circle there's just like some bands kettlebells just a couple other small gym equipment so that is our house tour let me know what you guys think um, I do love this home. I'll be sad to see, I'll be sad to leave, but we just want to be closer to work. It's where we brought our babies home. Hayden took his first step. I don't want to make this video too long, so I will say bye, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Will be more house hunting videos because obviously we haven't found a house yet. Um, and keep you guys updated on what happens with our house so subscribe below give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye